Hello, it's the Crap Goth. My name is Pixie and welcome to my podcast of absolute randomness where you literally never know what I'm going to talk about. So, oh my gosh, I have not done a podcast for ages. It feels like such a long time because I've been poorly and then I lost my voice, which I think my husband was pretty excited about because it meant the house was quiet for a change, but it severely pissed me off. (laughs) I wasn't able to speak for such a long time, wasn't really able to make my YouTube videos, which really did my head in, but I am back and I am chatting again, much to my husband's disgust. So, oh my gosh, what is tonight going to be about? So it's just basically something really probably stupid to most people. So I accomplished something massive this evening and I just wanted to shout about it because I think it's fucking amazing. I had a shower. Um, At this point, I'm sure you're probably rolling your eyes going, what the fuck is she talking about? Most people have a shower, you dirty bitch. But in actual fact, when most people suffer from um, horrendous mental health issues like I do, it's really, really hard to do the most basic of tasks, whether it's making my bed, you know, getting up and getting dressed, which to be honest with you, 80% of my life is spent in my pyjamas because they're comfy. And uh, yeah, so I haven't had a shower in over a week maybe a little bit more actually to be fair and um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it there was just always obstacles in my way like mentally like I have to go up the stairs I have to prepare my clothes I need to make sure the shower's set at the right height there can be no spiders in the bathroom which is actually really fucking stupid because I keep tarantulas as pets and if there was a tarantula in my bathroom it would not bother me one bit I'd be like all right mate But these little fuckers that live in my bathroom rent free and just build their little shitty squatty webs everywhere they feel like it are those ones that have the pea bodies and the really big legs, you know, like the stupidly long ones that look like weird fucking elastic bands coming out. I actually call them umbrella spiders which amuses my husband again, because the reason is because those stupid long twats, I mean, I love nature, but they just freak me out completely. They look like an umbrella frame, which has been stripped of all the like material stuff. And it's just the skeleton and they sit on the wall looking at you and they just want to eat you, basically. You know, they're them little murderous fuckers and they run around with machetes at night time on your walls. And I just don't trust them. They just seem to Ah, no, I just don't like him at all. So my my husband kind of scour the bedroom and scour the bathroom. And he's like, nope, there's absolutely nothing up there. So this evening I have gone, right, I'm going to do it. (laughs) And I have taken the evening off from doing um, YouTube and filming and all that kind of stuff, which I was going to do. And I have come upstairs and my husband prepared me a hot chocolate in a big travel mug. (laughs) So I have a drink all through the night. I've bought myself a new television for my bedroom. And I was like, right, I'm going to get in comfy pyjamas. I'm going to shave my fanny, my legs, my armpits, I'm going to actually wash my dreadlocks and I'm just going to make myself feel a bit more presentable. And I was like, right, okay. By the way, this took about an hour (laughs) to decide I'm actually going to do it. Then I needed my husband to convince me everything was safe and everything was okay and it's all going to be okay. He'd prepared a towel for me. Like I said, he'd made me a hot drink. I've got fresh pyjamas. I've got clean knickers to put on and all, you know, all the stuff that just makes you feel nice. And I was like, right, okay. And I've just done it. So I've just went out, yay. And I was in the middle of my shower, loving it, soaping up all my boobs and everything. And, you know, oversharing as you do. And um, this fucking spider appears in the top of the shower. And I am not kidding you. It literally just walks towards me. Like you can tell it was sidestepping and like side eyeing me with its 10 million eyes. And like my husband had literally, he he searched everywhere in this bathroom and there was no sign of anything, like anything at all. And this fucking spider appears and it was literally just like I said, it was sidestepping towards me. Now we have a nice big house, but we have a very small bathroom. Don't ask me why, it's a tiny bathroom. So there isn't really a lot of room for me to like get out if this thing starts trying to go on a murderous attack. So I'm stood there like soaping up and all that kind of stuff, you know, sure you don't really want this image of me, but like, you know, it's basically, I was a fucking fat mess in the corner of the shower getting as far away from this bloody spider as I possibly could while still covered in shampoo and bubbles. So I couldn't really move out. And my bathroom is fully tiled, like it's tiled on the walls and on the floor. And we've just washed the bath mat. So at the moment, there's just little tiny towels on the floor to use as a bath mat. And I was like, if I run, I'm going to break my neck. I'm going to slip on these tiles and I'm going to fucking fall. So this spider was literally holding me to ransom while I washed my hair so fast in the shower that I thought, you know, my head was going to come off, to be fair. And luckily I managed to escape with my life and everything intact. And I'm now sat on my bed, breathing a sigh of relief because not only have I escaped the murderous spider that is in my bathroom holding everything hostage, but I'm clean. Oh my God. And it feels so fucking nice. So yeah, I just thought I'd have to share this information with you because it's it's quite a big win. And it's just, (laughs) it's silly. It really is silly. But, you know, again... You know, when you're living with a mental health illness 
And you say you've got anxiety and people are, oh, that must be really bad. It really, really is. It's anxiety and panic attacks and paranoia. And for me, because I see and see and hear things as well, I never quite know what's real and what's not. And, and it's just, it's fucking horrible, to be fair. And like the most basic of tasks, eating and drinking and taking medicines on time, I just can't do it. So my husband comes in every single, he sets an alarm for me and he brings in my medicines for me which I have every night at 10 o'clock at night and he brings it through for me and he brings me a drink of water and he stands there and he holds my hand while I take it because I literally can't do it myself and then he'll come upstairs with me and he prepares my bed and like I said my towel and made me a drink and you know and he'll check in with me and and it's really nice and it's I, but I, I mean I'm 45 and I should be able to do these things for myself and it's kind of really frustrating for me because I'm a mum I'm a wife you know I'm I try and, you know, promote mental health awareness and all that kind of stuff. And half the time I can't even look after myself. It's really, really fucking annoying when I just want to go out there and, you know, maybe go to work at a part time job so I can still be there for my little girl and do more around the house. And I can't fucking do it because I get stupidly in my own head and, you know, and I'm grieving the loss of my little boy as well, which is literally singly the most horrendous, horrend oh, just, it's just the most worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And I've lost my mum as well, kind of, you know, when that was bad and I thought I've never, ever survived that. But losing my child has been the worst battle ever. So I had like for the first year after losing him, I just sat in my pyjamas and cried and didn't do anything. I'm surprised I even made it through the year, to be fair. So I've just started picking my life up and doing bits and bobs and I still break down and feel guilty for doing stuff without him. But everybody tells me I've got to live for him and do the things that he'd want me to do so yeah I'm taking this little win I had a shower and I shaved my vagina and I am now hairless and clean it's fantastic to be fair absolutely brilliant um but yeah so I just thought I'd come on and say a quick hi the fact I've not dropped off the face of the earth although I'm sure some of you wishes I had and um yeah just to say hi really and that's it yeah small wins take them when you can don't matter what it is don't matter if you're putting water down your neck if you're washing the pots for the first time in a year if you're watering your plants or you're shaving your fanny it doesn't really matter you know if you're battling something and you do something no matter how small it might be to other people it can be a fucking gigantic mountain of a milestone for you so take that win take that win and run and go I did this which is exactly what I'm doing on a podcast so everybody knows what I've done <laughs> which is probably really stupid but fuck it I don't care I'm gonna document it on YouTube and I document stuff on podcasts although I'm honestly not gonna go and make a video in my YouTube studio saying that I shaved my vagina and I'm really clean so you know yeah you guys get to listen you don't see me going oh my god guess what I did are you proud of me give me a sticker bitches but anyway yeah I'm gonna go now that was it I had a shower I feel nice I'm not gonna sit on my beautifully pink lovely blanketed bed in my fresh pajamas with freshly washed dreadlocks I'm gonna sit and watch some shit on Netflix that is absolutely brilliant and cuddle up with my teddy bears and um yeah job done I'm gonna have a nice evening off before I get back into filming again tomorrow and on this one my YouTube channel is also called the crap goth so if you want to head over there and just um I'm not gonna show anything bad don't worry well not my light shavy bits anyway so don't worry about anything like that there we go i'm uh, i'm on there if you want to pop over and say hi or not that's fine but yeah anyway that's it job done uh popping on say hi popping on say bye now i'm gonna go and watch my stuff and um hopefully you'll all tune in and say hi and all that kind of shit really soon <laughs> right love over sharing with you a lot thank you for listening and i shall speak to you super super soon see you later bye